This episode of In an Instant is powered by Wasabi. Get 15% off camera batteries with promo code INSTANT. Is film prices going up, making your motivation to shoot it going down? What if I told you that there's a camera that could double the amount of frames that you could shoot on one roll? That's right, 72 frames on one roll. Could you wrap your head around that? You better start wrapping your head around it because today we're talking about the Kodak Ektar H35, the newest camera from the Ritu project, branded Kodak, a Kodak licensee. This is a point and shoot half frame camera that like I said, takes 72 frames per roll. Today we're out here in sweltering New York. It's a hot summer day. And we're gonna go around and take some stranger portraits with the Matty Ice. Yeah, that's right. You know him from previous episodes. We're gonna take him out of his comfort zone today for some picture taking of uh, people we don't know on half frame. There's nothing better than that. Let's do it. The kind of photography that would become part of the human being. Press a button and have the picture. Excuse me? Hey, we're filming a YouTube video taking pictures with this new film camera. Do you mind if I take a portrait of you guys? Oh, you're already in the mix. Let's go. Special? Uh, no, you guys, I mean, you hit it right away. Like, you know what to do. Three, two, one. Oh, why don't you guys get a little closer together and look over at me? Yep. Three, two. Literally magic. You guys are magic. Have a good day. All right, please excuse Matt's height advantage, but we are out here. Um, we are gonna head into McCarran Park in Greenpoint. It's a beautiful day, a little bit warm, but we are going to be approaching some strangers with this H35. And one of the cool aspects of half frame is that you can kind of take two frames of one subject. Yeah, really excited to like give it a shot, especially in the situation of shooting someone's portrait where you talk to them, you little know more about them. I think it, it makes the next, the second frame that's not their like face or, or they're like them standing, et cetera, like way more interesting. Yeah, exactly. It's like the first photo you take is sort of the stencil outline of the person. Yeah. And then the color that you're filling it in with is this second picture, yeah. which maybe is of an accessory they have or just a different angle of them that shows their personality a little bit. So I think it's really fun that we're gonna be able to play with that. Obviously that kind of uh, is not the point of the half frame camera. It's not to take two photos at once uh, necessarily, but it's a really fun way to use it. Half frame cameras have been around forever. They were a fun way to maximize the cost of film even back in the day. So the tradition of the half frame has continued for many years, but Ritu Project is just creating fascinating products like this. I yeah. think this is a very interesting idea totally. to create a half frame product in this current industry where costs are rising and people do want to yeah. save money. Yeah, it means I can pay my rent and also develop in the same month. So it's like you were like, you knew you had to be posed for a photo or something. <laughs> And in all seriousness, it's a perfect play for someone like even new yeah. to film in general. Cause it's like, at the, at, you know, when you're first jumping in, like your focus isn't maybe the exact quality of the film. This is just like fun, hopefully, and, yeah. and just ripping shots. <laughs> we have a, a new subscriber right here, Miles. Thank you very much for subscribing. And I also really think it's cool philosophically that Ritu has created a point and shoot camera that's just 35 millimeter full frame. They've created this half frame camera. They've created the three lensed 3D camera. I like that they're trying to provide something different for the market totally. and they're very light, they're very plasticky, you know, no one would deny that, but they have the fun factor and having the Kodak name on it just gives them another tier of like credibility. And honestly, it feels like real leather. I'll just say it, it. Yeah, look, to the touch, it it's like, good. kind of feels like real leather. Yeah. yeah. Can I actually put on some sunglasses? Of course. You can do whatever. Is this your baseball? No. Okay. So we've just uh, snapped off our first two folks that we met, and they were extremely nice. You, you need a model mode, man. Yeah. This could be your new hinge pick. It could be. <laughs> <laughs> so we just talking about Lord that. knows I need a new one. And the, the thing that I loved so much about doing this kind of episode the first time where we met strangers in New York is that there's such, it brings me such joy to talk to strangers and have like pleasant interactions with people that you never talk to ever in your life. You go into this very nervous. Matt and I are always nervous going up to people randomly and ask for portraits, but then you have this extremely pleasant engagement with them. You feel like part of the world a little bit more. 
because you're interacting with it. You're interacting with the people around you that you would normally just walk by and wouldn't say a word to. And then you end up having these really fascinating conversations with them. And it makes you think twice about everyone around you. We live in such a negative time and everything feels very crammed and loud and scary. And you think people are kind of scary sometimes. But it turns out like most people are actually kind of chill, at least in New York. And they're happy to have their portrait taken with the H35 and they seem interested in it. And it's like, it brings a smile to my face. It, it, it really restores faith in humanity a little bit when you're out here doing this stuff. And YouTube is just an excuse to do it. Um, I, we should really do this more, you know, off camera. Yep. So we were out here taking pictures of other people and we met Jacob here and he made a picture of me. Look at that. Watercolor, where can we find you, Jacob? Hi, I'm Jacob Frazier, um, <laughs> watercolor whore. I am being broadcast from the northwestern corner of McCarran Park in Brooklyn. We're live. Yeah, come visit, I'll, I'll do you next. He'll do you next. And he'll do full frame, not even half frame, like the Kodak H35, right, Jacob? Uh, yeah, I'm professional. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so this camera is called the Ektar H35. That name might be a little bit familiar to you because Ektar 100 is one of Kodak's professional film stocks, and it's a name they've been using for a long time. The like Ekta prefix is extremely Kodak. Uh, it was originally seen on a variety of Kodak lenses from the 30s. The name is an acronym for Eastman Kodak Tessar. I would say that's like not a very clean truncation, but anyway, Ektar has been a part of the Kodak family for many years, and it's kind of cool that it's now on a new camera. It used to be on lenses, used to be on film, now it's on a newer film stock, and now it's on this little camera. So, the tradition continues with Ektar. Let's keep shooting with it. Yeah, smile. Love that. Whoa. It's like a cityscape. Oh my God, that's beautiful. I'm a teacher and I'm like off for the summer. So I'm like, I need to make the most of every day. So I was here yesterday and then yesterday I was like, damn, I wish I had my paint. So then I'm like, let me just come today, but it's so fucking hot. <laughs> um, I was wondering if I could take a couple portraits of you because your fit is amazing. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt your conversation. Okay. <laughs> okay. We were talking about very important things. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> there we go. Half frame magic. Excuse me, would you mind if I take your picture? No, it's, it's, for a, it's for a YouTube channel. Thank you so much. No, you, no, you're the best. Thank you. Uh, no, uh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Would you mind if I take your pictures? Sure, do you want the guitar in it? Yeah, the guitar is supreme. Oh, hell yeah. Oh, let me get your skates, too. Her, nice to meet you, I'm Ben. Hi, Ben. Do you want to get Einstein in the little guitar I love case? that. Oh my gosh, yes. This is our first cat of the day. So that's kind of big for us. Oh, love that. The first <laughs> cat in a guitar case, I would assume, too. I just took a picture of a cat, so I needed a dog uh, yeah. to match the set. Balance it out. Yeah, I just needed to balance it out. It's just like, there's pure nerves. Yeah. Like, and you're like, you're almost in that like zone where you're like shaking a little, you almost got like the shakes and you're like, I, I worry that it's like, you're talking too fast, but also too quietly at the same time. So it's just like the worst case. So people I think are almost like confused because you're just like, hey, can I take your photo? Oh. It's like really awkward. And they're wondering like why you would want a photo of them. Yeah, I think that's like the really interesting thing is like, I think you almost can catch people off guard because they're expecting, they're not expecting people to like ask for their photo. Yeah, they're expecting to be hustled. And when you actually tell them what you're doing and you seem sincere about it, they're like, I don't really understand why someone would want a photo of me, but. It's been good, I feel way more natural. I'm like ready just to start jumping yeah, you, on you, it. Matt's gone off. Yeah. He went in very nervous and now he's like soaring. Yeah, even when I got my first rejection, I was worried it was just gonna ruin my whole life and it didn't. So we're still here. We're <laughs> yeah, still you're like, yeah, you're still alive. So yeah, more to come. So the funny thing about half frame cameras are, you're out here shooting all day, working real hard, taking a tons of pics. You look down and you're halfway through the roll. So to mix it up for the second half of this roll, we are going to employ this little guy. This is a fisheye lens. It's a 37 millimeter thread mount lens. This uh, does not have a thread mount adapter, but we can just hold it right in front of the lens. It's perfectly sized. And we're just gonna see what kind of weird shots we can get with it. We might even start taking pictures of inanimate objects because we gotta get through this roll. A good way to experiment with this to see just what your framing is gonna be like because this is a rangefinder camera, so the viewfinder separate, is to hold the lens in front of the viewfinder first. Now you can see where your frame's gonna be and then you can hold it in front of the lens and make sure not to block the flash. These kind of lenses you can just get on Amazon for like a few bucks. It's just a fun way to mix it up with point and shoots. So let's get weird with it. Let's try it. Shout out to my, all my car film shooters. 
you guys carry the weight that some of us just can't keep on our backs. Thank you. <laughs> okay, perfect. <Good. laughs> Well, congrats. I mean, you're, this is incredible work. Yeah, thanks. You're doing, you're doing God's work here. Almost done, now the wine is still going. Okay, oh, Jesus, okay. Yeah. I'm so scared going into this. And now I'm having conversations with a guy about his Narragansett truck for his block party for 4th of July. I mean, and it's funny because he's, he was like Danish or something. Yeah. And so there's like almost this like funny idea that like, he's loading a truck full of Narragansett for other people to celebrate our Independence Day. Would you mind if I take your picture with this fit you've got uh, on? It's incredible. Sure. I mean, my gosh. Sure. This camera very much like gets out of the way. It's yeah. extremely light. Again, this is a $50 point and shoot style camera that takes half frames. You could look at this kind of like a disposable camera that you can reload that takes half frame images. Everyone we photographed today, you know, was like, oh my God, what is that? that that's cute. Like, what is this? What are you guys doing out here today? Everyone yeah. sort of was genuinely curious about it because it's such a cool design. It's very like retro, but obviously a new product and it feels current, but it is paying homage to the past. For sure. And I love, you know, as a strobe bro myself, yeah. heavy strobe bro, the one thing I always hate about my point and shoot, having to sit there and like click like two to three times when I want to pop a strobe shot. Yeah. And this is just like a single flick. It's just like, boom. We're, yeah. we're, we're locked onto flash for the rest of the day. So there's an element to this where like, we don't know what we got. You know, we didn't shoot instant film today. We shot 35 millimeter, uh, but I feel pretty good about it. I can't wait to look through the photos. And if nothing else, we had the experience, which is really. We spent an analog day talking to real people. That is true. Yeah. That was very analog of us. Yeah. It, it does put you in touch with sort of what some of the spirit of film is. Totally. Which is going out, having real, actual experiences, um, producing something that's real, that takes up tangible, physical space in the world, and doing it with other people. Yeah. Doing it together. Hey, together. Together. Well, thank you for watching In An Instant. Go ahead and submish that subscribe button. Stay tuned for more product reviews, guides, tips, and all things instant. <laughs>